If you have a classroom pet, the students will observe your behavior and attitude to the pet and will follow your lead, taking you as their role model in how to care for the pet. Proper care. Make sure the pet's cage is in a good location. It should have adequate sunshine and not be too drafty. Make sure it will be taken care of on weekends when there is no classroom instruction. Housing materials. Make sure the materials you use for the pet's cage are washable. Cleanliness. Make sure the pet's home is kept clean and odor free. This will ensure the good health of the classroom pet. It's advisable to disinfect the cage every day. It's important that you sanitize your pet's cage after cleaning it with a mixture of 4 ounces of bleach to 1 gallon of water. After you have sanitized it with bleach, rinse the cage with soap and water to remove the bleach smell, which animals may be sensitive to. Hand Washing Teach your students to always wash their hands with soap and water after handling the pet. Health and Behavior If you notice the pet acting sickly or strangely, the pet should immediately be taken out of the classroom. Secure Cages Make sure the cages are properly covered and locked so that nobody can get at the pet when there is no supervision. Food Storage Make sure the pet's food is kept in covered containers and boxes. Make sure the food is refrigerated, if necessary. Healthy Animals All classroom pets should be examined by a veterinarian prior to being introduced to a classroom. The animals should be up to date on all vaccinations recommended by the veterinarian, and follow all of the veterinarian's guidance on proper handling, habitat, feeding, care, and other conditions for the particular type of pet. Food in the Classroom Pets are inappropriate for classrooms where meals or snacks are served and animals should never be allowed to roam in areas where food is served or stored. Keep Enclosures Cleaning of pet enclosures should be done as often as necessary to keep the animal healthy, prevent odors from building up, and eliminate any unsanitary conditions. It should be noted that cleaning and disinfection may be necessary as often as daily, however it should be done weekly at a minimum. Pets that are injured or in poor health should be removed from the classroom immediately and given proper care. It should be noted, however that even animals that are or appear to be in good health can still shed potential pathogens.